how many matrices are there in reflection? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today's topic is uh, matrix transformation in reflection. There are only four matrices. There are only four matrices in reflection. Okay, I have just one question here like axes in this uh, object triangle A, B, and C. How we can work with matrix transformation and reflection? First of all, in the exam, it will be given that you have to do this by using matrix method and do the reflection and show all the working in x-axis. Okay, we need reflection in x-axis. And sometimes, uh, like uh, it will be also given, uh, like what are the objects? Uh, A is what? A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5 and 1. B is minus 1, minus 1 and 2. And C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, minus 4 and 4. So, this is a way that the coordinates sometimes it will be given to draw uh, like this triangle and uh, use matrix of x-axis like what is a matrix of x-axis we should know that will be that will not given in the exam so what we need we need uh, the matrix or an x-axis and what's the method the method is what this you should know that to get the image to get the image the matrix of this transformation multiply with object mo i equals to mo like this is your simple matrix transformation formula just to get the image we need to multiply the matrix with the object not object with the matrix mo mo not om okay first of all i'm just writing here what is the matrix for x-axis the x-axis matrix is 1 0 0 minus 1 and is fixed we cannot change it but how did i get this i have a method and i will explain in end of this video that's how we can find all four matrices of the reflection okay the method is what what's the method when i want to get the image and the image is pqr i have decided like we have it will be given in the exam this triangle abc mapped onto triangle pqr and we have to use the matrix transformation method. Okay, what's the method? I will write image is equals to, okay, matrix of the transformation axis is 1, 0, 0, and minus 1. And please one thing, what, how I can write the object? Object is A, B, C. So A, B, C means A, B, and C. A is minus 5, 1. I will write like this, minus 5 and 1. B is minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and 2 and c is minus 4 and 4 minus 4 and 4 this is a way this you have to write the object and when you will get the image your image will be also like this like as a coordinates so now, now what's the method of multiplication first row first column 1 by minus 5 is minus 5 first row and first column 0 by 1 is 0 so minus 5 and plus 0 1 by this is minus 1 and then plus 0 and first row last column minus 4 and plus 0 sometimes you don't need to show plus 0 and you can do it directly 0 by this second row multiply the first column 0 by 5 is 0 and 1 by 1 is minus 1 0 minus 1 you can do the direct calculation 0 is and minus 2 and then you can write 0 and minus 4 so it means your final results are minus 5 and minus 1, minus 1 and minus 2. Actually, I am doing also the verification. This Are we doing the right? Like this is P. This is P. I can write here. Uh, this is P, Q, P, Q and R. Okay, now what is P? P is minus 5 and minus 1. Minus 5 and minus 1 is here. This is P. Q is minus 1, 2. Q is minus 1 and 2. Minus 1, minus 2 is Q. 
and uh, r is minus 4 and minus 4 like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and this is minus 4 so now this is r when you join this you can see this we have first line second here and the third line here so that's we have done the reflection and just check it out i use the matrix and if you want to do the reflection in x we can do it but actually in the exam is required to do the working and show the matrix transformation method so what in x axis when this is your middle line check it out one and one one step down when here one two one two like two steps up and down when you see one two three four steps or down one two three four steps it means we have done by using matrix method the reflection in x-axis it means this matrix what we have used here this matrix here is 100 percent x-axis reflection matrix so how we can do this and how we can find this now i'm going to discuss like even you can use uh, y-axis matrix and we are having just four matrices x-axis y-axis y plus 2x and y plus 2 minus x that's it that's it in reflection we don't need any other matrices any other matrix in reflection that's four matrices and you can use any of the matrix to get the reflection okay now what i'm going i'm doing uh, the how we can find the matrices and the ref uh, reflection now we are doing matrices of reflection in transformation as i told you just we have uh, four types of transformations four types of uh, uh, matrices in reflection in x axis in y axis in y is equals to x and in y equals to minus x that's it we are having just four uh, matrices in reflection so for that purpose i need first of all uh, draw an axis an axis okay now what are the coordinates i have to decide this is one this is one this is minus one and this is minus one okay what's the method first of all this coordinate is this coordinate is always one and zero like this okay this coordinate is uh, zero and one so the math and when i talk about this coordinate this will be 100 percent minus one and zero and this will be zero and minus one actually our target is only these two coordinates okay now what is the method this this is your object this and this and i'm writing here a basic matrix a unit matrix but uh, that is our actually the object okay the basic matrix is one zero zero one from this i have to make all four matrices okay this is identity matrix you can see okay one zero zero one this one zero is a like this is a and this is b this is b actually the whole method is depend on these two a and b x axis one zero and y axis zero one that's it okay now what's the method the method is what i want to like uh, from these two objects like one zero zero one i want to make a matrix okay first is one zero one zero one zero okay what is our target like uh, we are making a matrix like here in x-axis when i make an uh, a matrix in x-axis what i need i need i need uh, a line to draw on x-axis first of all okay this is a line this line means this line means the object on the line will not move please remember when we have a line of reflection or shear or stretch whatever when this line when the object is on the line the image will be also the same like object image have the same position so it means this will not move so one zero the one zero the one zero will not change and that will remain one zero i'm writing here one zero one sorry one little bit small one zero okay 
it means this will not change because of this point a will not move because of reflection on x axis x and when i talk about reflection of y axis b will not move but here x will not move now this point this point is your object this point is your object 0 1 0 1 okay just consider when you move this 0 1 in x axis where it will move this is your object this is your object one step down okay this is your image what's the image 0 1 0 minus 1 and that you have done the transformation the matrix of the x axis very simple now what i'm doing i am doing uh, the reflection of the matrix uh, in y axis what i need i have to draw a line that is our uh, mirror line that is here okay what's the method the method is that we have to consider one zero zero one is our object and we are making the image by using these one zero and zero one okay now what is going on this okay always move a first and then b okay this a one zero this is your mirror line x y axis is a mirror line y axis a object when i do the reflection in y axis this distance is one will move here so it means the image of a is this so minus one zero i'm writing minus one and zero now after a as we have done a like we have done the first one zero now i am moving to zero one zero one is here zero one is here b okay this b is already on y-axis and y-axis is your mirror line so do you think this will move no this will not move so zero one will remain zero one and that's your matrix for the y-axis reflection that's it nothing we don't need to do any other things and that's the matrix and and when we use this method mo we can find the image by using this matrix okay now moving to third case third case is y equals to x matrix is one zero zero one that's here one zero zero one that's object a and object b okay now what's the uh, mirror equation mirror i want to draw it y equals to x means like this okay so i want to draw it now when i want to draw i will draw here here this is your y is equal to x okay now what we are doing this is y equals to x first object is one zero i have to move one zero i have to move one first object is one zero i will move one zero and then zero one okay a when i reflect a in this line what how many steps that will become here a will become b the position of a the image of a will be here so that means 0 1 0 1 0 1 here this and now the we have the second object is b 0 1 is here that will reflect in this line it will come here and that will become 1 0 so it means it means that's your uh, uh, matrix for the x x y is equal to x it means a a reflect will become here this position and b will when b reflect in y equals to x will become in this position and that's the matrix the same way when we have this y equals to minus x i have to use this matrix 1 0 0 1 and i want to draw a line first of all this is y equals to x now i want to draw a line y equals to minus x and y equals to minus x is here yes y equals to minus x is here and please remember this is the first object and then we have second object first object okay where is the reflection of this a on this line in this line where here yeah this is what zero minus one okay zero minus one and this b this b will move here this is minus one zero okay so it means it means like we have done it there are four matrices matrix one matrix two matrix three and matrix four and there are only four matrices in uh, reflection to do the transformation and i think so we don't need to learn by heart this is very simple whenever we have this we can just take five seconds or ten seconds to get the uh, matrix thank you so much and have a nice day and please uh, 
like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive my new videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.